And what problem does you know Cubex, and more specifically, um, this automation uh, component, what does it solve? Well, we see in general there's a lot of over-provisioning and a lot of under-provisioning in these Kubernetes environments. A lot of containers have really high CPU requests. They might have CPU, high memory requests. They might have low memory requests, no memory requests. Uh, we see problems with limits being uh, uh, either not set or like memory limits or being too low, causing out of memory kills. So. Whenever we, in any environment we analyze, we find pretty much all of these problems somewhere uh, across the clusters. And so the idea is that you want to be able to fix that. And there's numerous ways to do that. Of course, you can go to the repo and fix all the input numbers uh, manually, but that's not anything people want to do. Um, so what this does, this, this new mutating emission controller, just lets us control it centrally. It interfaces with our analytics. The analytics are very smart. They understand what's a good idea to do, what's not a good idea to do. Some things are too big but you don't want to touch them right now because maybe the nodes are running out of memory. Um, so all that's factored into the analytics and this new controller will just take that and, and that intelligence and say, okay, we're going to do it automatically as the containers deploy. Um, so again, it saves you from having to interface with a lot of different app teams, especially in a dev environment where maybe it's okay just to override everything and make it more efficient, but we see it in prod environments too. It's just centralized control over the resources and instead of wasting your time trying to deal with dozens and dozens of applications. application teams.